The rise of AI-generated music. You hit play on your favorite music video, let's say you hear those words you can't stop vibing with, maybe August slips away into a moment in time, and you think, man, I can hear Taylor sing all day. But what if it's not Taylor? In fact, it's not even a human behind those lyrics you love, or the pitch, or even the melodies. It's just a code. An artificially intelligent thing trying to not just play around with emotion, throwing some words into a blender, but to make you feel a certain emotion. This is absolutely insane when you think about it and take into account the fact that they don't even have emotions to begin with. Doesn't that change the whole world of music? For instance, if you really love a song, you'll have no celebrity to hail on, and things like AI singers with automated voices, all of this is worth looking into, for which today, we'll get into and explore the hows and whys of the rise of AI-generated music. But first, for all of you who are new to the crew, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we dig deep into the fascinating world of AIs, robots, and future technology, and collect on the hot news and inventions for the best technology advancements of all time. So hit subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on when our next videos go live. Now let's move on to the video. Artificial intelligence is making rounds across the globe. AI has done everything from creating female robots that can cook to those which can have sex. AI can do your homework, Alexa can switch off your electrical appliances, and even potentially secretly spy on you. But we don't talk about that for the sake of excruciating optimism in science, right? But let's be real, most of us are wondering, is there anything AI can't do at this point? It has even plagued the music industry now. And just like AI, Dolly is creating art. Explored in one of our previous videos, the music industry is likely going to see AIs assisting in all things related to music, and again, it might come sooner than we think. Because take a look at this music video generated by an AI, and although it's just the visuals designed to match the melodies and lyrics for the song, Canvas by Resonate, it shows the extent to which AI can speculate what we'd like to see. Isn't that absolutely fascinating and a bit alarming too? Because if the art part of the creative niche has already been taken up by AIs and they're killing it, the lyricists must be having a few sleepless nights with the soon to happen commercialization of their sole job. Because this means you can become a musician and have a successful music career without making an effort all thanks to artificial intelligence. It's already happening. Take it from when the BBC published an article talking about Mr. Mitchell, who is the founder and boss of an application called Boomy, helping its users create their own songs using artificial intelligence software that does most of the heavy lifting. Using this, you can choose from a number of genres and hit the create song button for the AI to generate a music track and that too in under, ready for this, a whopping speed of 30 seconds. It'll swiftly pick out the track keys, chords and melodies and from there you can then easily finesse your song. The best part is that you can play around with it for some personal touch and customization along the process, maybe add a strip out instrument, change the tempo, adjust the volumes, add echoes, make everything sound brighter or softer, and even lay down some vocals. So it allows you to juggle around to round off to the best fit. Now humans have known music making through two contingent settings, playing live instruments and tracking them in software, or arranging digital instruments and arranging them in software. Cold Fusion Channel highlights in their video about how machines make music in two main ways, by manipulating mini data or raw audio synthesis. The video further explains about Magenta, a music writing AI that learns from previous melodies and creates new ones. The software helped create songs in the particular style of musicians who died at the age of 27, including Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison, and Amy Winehouse. The program essentially analyzes tracks of their song section by section. But you'd probably find it surprising to hear that AIs composing music aren't exactly new. David Cope, a US classical composer, had developed such a software system back in the 80s following some episodes of Writer's Block. AI also made it easier for everybody, regardless of device, to create professional sounding music at a low cost. Almost everyone has come across it and is aware of the genuine benefits of technology. This is not really, however, an easy procedure. And of course, a creative field work already has its complexities and creations since it's unique to every creator and not the same technique like math is for everyone. 
So AIs juggle through several tons of individual artists' unique touches and comes up with something that we call art. So let's dig deeper into how AI are cramming all our music items and a fake voice to blend into a complete song. This article by Digital Transmissions, an AI program called NVIDIA that lets users add an AI voice describing it as the uncanny valley or artificial intelligence mimicking human behavior. But NVIDIA's new voice AI is much more realistic than anything we've heard before. The fake voice sounds almost identical to a real one using a combination of AI and a human reference recording. Some of the best AI voice generators in the market include Resemble.ai, Murph.ai, Play.ht, and Speechify, which you can buy right now and experiment with AI vocals to see how your song would turn out. Tyler Whiteman, a master's in computer science, shares the pros of AI music on Speechify's website. Apparently, you can access natural sounding voices that handle websites, books, and research papers that allow you to listen to them while focusing on other needs. You can use AI voice generator to read to you if you have a visual disability or learning visibility, such as dyslexia, that would otherwise make it really hard to read. This can turn a reading experience into a more podcast-like experience. You can control the different pronunciations to find the right voice for the situation. So it's better not to assume that it'll just be robbing us of original or stellar music, and people are already convinced about that and loving it a tad more than you'd be thinking, don't believe us? Check out these tweets and reddits. Shout out to Tommy Cardi for existing. I've been listening to artificial intelligence on repeat for two weeks straight. I don't know what it is, but your music scratches my brain's itch and I like it. Not to mention your editing skills are top notch. I personally find AI music fascinating in ways that modern pop generally isn't in that it has the idiosyncratic charm of someone, a human or a machine that's still learning as they go along, as opposed to the paint by numbers pop music like Dula Lip or Ashanti that has 60 plus years of experience and like 10 songwriters. Perhaps one of the crudest examples of an AI composed song is Daddy's Car created back in 2016. Well, AI is actually really making waves. We have some really great songs coming out of AI more recently like Mr. Blue Sky and Mr. Shadow from the album Hello World. Someone funnily commenting saying they'll need a Grammy category, best artificial song of the year. And we couldn't agree more. But with everything that has to do with AIs, there's always pessimism in the air. So to shed some light yet again on the impacts that AIs clearly have the needs to be explored to, so let's go to where people throw their opinions the most because this Reddit thread has some weight in what people are saying. I see handcrafted music, particularly handcrafted pop music, becoming a niche concern. Human bands will toil mostly in obscurity as new generations come to see their music as clunky and old fashioned. So not that different from the present really. To add insult to injury, some of the AI generated pop will be objectively entertaining and musically endearing. Another solid concern from this thread was it'll take away the most important aspect of music, being unique and telling a personal story through your music. You don't want AI to start making music. And this user tried AI music themselves and wasn't too impressed. I actually looked into AI generated music a few years back when I switched careers to programming. It turns out that there are AIs out there that actually can make passable music, but writing complete songs is still way out of their grasp because the lyrics they generate are totally incomprehensible. And just like artists frustrated over the AI technologies making disastrously fascinating artworks in far less effort, making it seem almost like a mass produced good out of a factory. The music industry creatives are about to tap out their frustrations sooner rather than later. And while these concerns are pretty plausible, we're still not quite yet there in terms of the AI's ability, because if we rewind on the AI generated music video for the song Canvas that we shared before, the creator Doodle Chaos talked about the process in the video's description, pointing out the weak areas saying, it still required additional input beyond just the song lyrics to achieve the music video I was looking for. For example, I added keyframes for camera motion throughout the generated world. These keyframes were manually synchronized to the beat by me. I also specified changes to the art style at different moments of the song. Since many of the lyrics are quite non-specific, even a human illustrator would have a hard time making visual representations. To make the lyrics more digestible by the AI, sometimes I modified the phrase to be more coherent, such as specifying a setting or atmosphere. 
But what matters is that the AI is incapable of creating music without mimicking existing data originated by humans. Maybe years later, tens or thousands of inputs of music would get you something original and AI might create something groundbreakingly independent of human creativity. But for now, people aren't moving away from Taylor Swift and Adele. They'll always be among number one singers and no matter what, AIs could never generate the hype that their music and charisma does. That said, we've reached the end of the video, so hit like if you'd like AIs making music for you in the future, and if you enjoyed today's episode, hit subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the post notification for more videos. See you in the next one.